Well, we're learning more tonight about the couple involved in an Englewood murder investigation. Saturday, 48-year-old Jessica Winkler turned herself in to the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office after deputies say she killed her wife during an early morning argument. ABC 7's Adam Cellini joins us live from Sarasota County with more on the complicated lives of these two women. Adam? Yes, Scott, good evening. Uh, we were told by the sheriff's office earlier this morning that Jessica uh, is still being held here at the county jail downtown. Her uh, former wife, the victim, 51-year-old Rhiannon Layen Decker, uh, was a decades-long resident of that Englewood community, and her uh, landscaping business uh, served many of the nearby homes. Residents on Overbrook Road in Inglewood have seen crimes before, but... Nothing violent like this. Tom Benavidez says Saturday's murder is the first he's heard of in 17 years. The home where law enforcement say Jessica Winkler murdered her wife, Rhiannon Leyendecker, remained taped off Monday with investigators on scene. Neighbors say the two hadn't been together long. She started uh, doing lawn service with, him, with her and uh, they just recently got married. The couple sharing one unique trait. Both had switched their names from male to female. According to court records, Jessica used to be Jason Warnett, and Rhiannon was known as Richard, which is how Jack DiLorenzo knew Leyendecker. He was a great guy. He was a fun-loving you know, car guy, as I knew him. You knew him back in the day, and a very sad situation. DiLorenzo says they shared a passion for cars, but drifted apart after her mother died. And as, as a person looking from the outside, he took it very very hard. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office says Winkler killed Leyendecker during an early morning argument, disposed of evidence in a nearby body of water, and intended to bury the body at a different home in Charlotte County. But around 4 p.m., she called 911 instead, turning herself in. Preliminary cause of death is being called, quote, homicidal violence by gunfire. I just couldn't believe it because this is a very quiet community. Nothing ever goes on around here. Now, earlier this morning, the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office said Winkler was being held in the medical wing of the jail here under close observation. However, they could not tell us why. In, uh, live in downtown Sarasota, I'm Adam Cellini. Scott, back to you. All right, Adam, thank you.